Hey guys, welcome back to another sneaker customization. This is part two of my previous one. As you guys can see, I actually took this shoot for a hike. Gave it a good thrashing. I took this shoe to Sydney and actually went hiking in it. And I wanted to see how it held up. It held up pretty well. As you guys can see, the top layer of the shoe is still black. Ignore all the dust and dirt and stuff like that. I'm gonna give it a good wash suit. And as you guys can see, at the bottom of the sole, it actually started cracking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a new layer of black on the shoe and I'm also gonna give it a good wash. For today, I'm gonna try to lace it in two different ways. So what I did, while I was there, I ended up going to Soulmates in Sydney and picking up some laces. These are some 3M laces, as you guys can see, this cost me $5. And I also picked up another pair of laces, just some normal standard black rope laces. And those cost me five dollars as well shout out to those guys for actually helping me really well with the laces and choosing the laces so what i'll do now i'm going to give it a quick wash with some jason mark and a towel i've got my paint here ready to paint paint paintbrush and let's do it the shoe is currently in a pretty bad state with some dirt here dirt everywhere else i'm going to give it a quick scrub with some jason mark and i'll see how it turns up guys I purposely use this brush, it's actually a car rim brush that you wash your rims with. It's flexible and it's actually really soft. After that quick wash, as you guys can see here, the upper actually stayed really black, so the spray that I actually used worked really well. But the downside to it is that there was a lot of cracking on the actual sole of the shoe, as you guys can see here. But that is bound to happen. The reason why is because the boost is a very soft material and it has a lot of movement and flex in it. So therefore, no matter what you do, you'll always get cracking on it. First thing to do is get your paint out. What I'm using for the red paint is the same thing I used to paint them in the beginning. It's an Angus branded black paint. It's just a standard black paint. And I just want to use a wider brush so I can cover more area quicker. As you guys can see now, I have done and finished completing one shoe. I'm gonna let it dry first, and I'm gonna work on the other shoe. Didn't require that much of a touch up, as you guys can see. It's pretty much back to how I wanted it originally. So these shoes held up really well. People have actually asked me about the integrity of the fabric when I sprayed it or dyed it. It does not change. It's still as flexible as you guys can see, and still holds up very well. It doesn't make it any harder, it doesn't make it any softer, it actually doesn't change feel of the material and how good the material actually is. Whilst I was waiting for this pair to actually dry, I started messing around with the shoelaces. I wanted a, a full different look and I really didn't know what I was gonna do with that. I just didn't want to do the standard across the side sort of um, shoelaces. And I really like how the the Nike Hirachi new motions are actually laced. So what I'm trying to do, if you guys can see here, I'm lacing it through the bottom. All you really need to do is get a Stanley knife, open the, the shoe from the inside and slit the middle. There's a middle bit where the little holes are and that would give you enough space to actually lace the shoe or put a shoelace through. I'll give you an example what I'm trying to do right now. I can't really show you guys properly, but the shoelaces, I'm gonna make five loops on each side, and then I'm gonna lace them through these loops to give it a really cool effect. The shoelaces on these shoes now, after you've taken the cage off, is just all for looks. It actually doesn't do anything. I'm trying to do it differently, just because I don't want to be the same as everyone else who has done these. So what I'll do is I'll keep lacing them, I'll show you guys a progress shot, and then I'll see what you guys think at the end of the day. I'll lace them in two different styles as well for you guys. So the way, if you guys are actually wondering after I do this, and may, maybe some people will like it, some people will not like it, but at the end of the day, it's my shoe, so I'll wear it the way I like it. If you guys wanna do it something like this, what you guys need to do is cut the holes, 
and thread the laces both ways through the hole. If that sort of doesn't make sense, you use the single, the single hole and you loop it twice through. What I thought, if I laced it across like this, the laces will run inside, therefore it would be annoying, so there's no point of it. As I still want the comfort from the shoe and the sock feel of the shoe. And also when I wear a shoe like this, I wear invisible socks. So the socks actually doesn't cover the forefront of my foot. So if I wear those socks and I wear this shoe, I don't want the laces to be rubbing on my feet. So that's why another reason why I would like to lace it something like this. I've just finished just doing a little demo of what my shoelaces should look like. As you guys can see, it has that really ropey feel. It doesn't look that great on camera, but I don't like the 3M laces I use. What I'm gonna do is, I got some normal black rope lace from some Roshi runs. I'm gonna exchange these laces for the 3M laces for an all black feel. At the end of the day, I really wanted an all black shoe. Don't really like it, so I'm gonna change the color around and I'll show you guys in probably a minute. I've just taken all the laces off the shoe. What I actually found out is that the shoelaces, this this rope cage, I would call it, actually doesn't stay in place. So what I've done is, I've got some thread, needle and a thread, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna thread these in place. There's too much movement in it, so what I'm gonna try to do is keep them in place without actually fucking it up. I'm finally done with the shoes. I finished lacing them. I had a really hard time figuring out how I wanted to lace them, but I ended up lacing them like this. If you guys can see, I painted a few more layers on the bottom as well, just in case. I'm not sure how many of you guys would actually like the way that I've laced them. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll give you a few more close-up shots and then an on-feed shot and this will be the end of these. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I really like it. It's something different. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed.